up guys this is cool story bro tech and in today's video i want to be showcasing off cars 2 playing on my vita from playstation now if you want to do this you have to have a playstation now subscription like me and then you basically just choose cars other car video games but i do prefer cars 2 because it just reminds me of the new cars 3 driven to win now if you've been subscribed to my youtube channel for a long time or you actually watching or looking at my videos you should already know that I did a Cars 3 Driven to Win unboxing and I did about two gameplays of Cars 3 Driven to Win on the Nintendo Switch side. It's an awesome game. I've had a busy schedule lately but one of my buddies he came around last week he was playing on it he did some races for it. Now I don't know if it's actually the same as the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One version but if you do have the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 version let me know in the comments is it the same cars free driven to win is it the actual same as the switch version i just wanted to know you might be buying a ps4 in the near future and i really want that game but i don't know if i should get the same game if it's the same game as the nintendo switch then i won't actually be bothering but if it's different then of course i will actually be buying it let's look at cars 2 on playstation now on the vita so this is cars 2 as you can see the video game and it's basically testing my connection. Hopefully my connection will be pretty cool for this video. If not, I'm really sorry, but I'll try and do my best. My internet is pretty cool at the minute. Like other days, it's been really bad. But they had basically a maintenance on a certain day. So hopefully it's speed my internet up. My internet speed is 100 meg. So it's pretty decent for games basically streaming games so this is how it starts Pixar as you can see it's made by the same company that made Cars 3 Driven to Win so that's where they actually got Cars 3 Driven to Win from from Cars 2 and of course Disney Studios Adobe Digital for sound in which is awesome So this game came out in 2011. Wow. I thought it was before or after that. I didn't realize it was that so long. So this is the cutscene from Cars 2, as you can see, pretty cool. Everything looks amazing. There's no stuttering. There's no glitching or anything like that. Colors look vibrant on this. By the way, this is a Vita first generation with the OLED screen. This is not the slim one, this is the one with the OLED, the beautiful, most sexy looking screen. No, I'm making it, but yeah, it's really nice screen. It's got nice colors and everything, vibrant colors. As you can see, there's Mela. There they are, trying to escape. I really like Cars 3, the, the actual game, but Cars 2, I don't know what it was. It's kind of something different. It made Mela more funnier. Because the way he talks is like, damn gun, and like next minute the guns will come out or, you know, the words what he pronounces basically happens like, as you can see there, he's like said something and he's like basically just like flaming up with like nitros. So let's get into the gameplay. So what I'm going to actually do, I'm going to actually turn it up for you guys so you can actually hear it. So the sound is actually on the Vila. So it's basically saying there's no, wait, this game save dates automatically. So yeah, I already know that. So I've already played this game. I've played it on my Canadian account. If you've been subscribed to me for a long time, I have two accounts on PlayStation. I have a UK account and a Canadian account. So, but the first one I had was of course, a Canadian account. And then I had to move to the UK account. So what I'm gonna do is play oh there's online it's pretty cool i'm gonna play the missions because this game was really weird how they made it because basically the free play you can't actually unlock it until you complete the game which is really weird so done some missions already i guess so let's do some more missions um Let's do, let's do a race. Here we go then. Probably going to say select my character, so who shall I be today? I, will I 
kind of like this guy. He's kind of like in um, kind of McLaren. I love the way you can actually spin him around, which is pretty cool. That's so awesome. Like, wee, spin him around. That's cool. So I'm gonna be this guy because he looks fast. I gotta admit though, Cars 2 had some amazing characters in the video game. They actually basically watched the movie and put all the Cars 2 characters in this video game. Such as Cars 3. Hopefully there will be a DLC in the future for Cars 3. Hopefully. Because Cars 2 had DLC, but one announced in the UK. Only announced in uh, Canada and America. So I'm actually pressing the wrong button. I keep on forgetting. It's down here. So yeah, it's got a pretty cool sound, like a proper McLaren. See if we can get first. I'm sure we'll be able to get first. This this is a McLaren. I'm sure it can beat a Corvette. There we go. Nope. Whoa, I thought he was second. Like, I, I thought he was first, but he's not. It's like, I think it's an Aston Martin. I'm not quite sure. Whoever it is, he's fast, I must say. Oh no, it's me. Huh, that's pretty cool. There's two guys, like, he's the same as me. Which one's the real one? That's all I'm saying. It's going to be kind of hard because he's got the same power as me. And I'm losing because I'm nearly crashing into the wall. So anyway, I hope you're enjoying this gameplay. You know, try my best to do it because... I'm actually recording it off my iPad Pro 12.9 inch because it's awesome on my case and I can actually stand it up and I can actually just play this game, just relax, you know, chill out. See if we can actually, whoa, this guy is awesome like me. Ooh. <laughs> Lucky that bunker, whatever you want to call it, actually got, wow, this guy is fast. He's faster than me and he's got the same car. Okay, let's just give him some roll. I think I made him crash there. So he's not first no more. Who's first? Me? I don't know if it's me or the other guy. Every time when it pops up there, you can actually see double me. I'm thinking, is it me or the other guy? Let's see if we can do a nice jump over here. Um, yeah, which one's the jump button? It's so embarrassing. Oh, it's X. Remember X. X. Oh my God. That was a crap drift. should have jumped. I remember doing jumps and stunts gets you boost but it's really hard playing on the Vita because I'm thinking that like, it's not a PlayStation 3 it's different the controls oh my god that's so crazy the thing I hate about this game is that you can't actually customize your control layouts so I'm basically stuck well this is the best one I think it's type 3 if you want to know my uh, control layout I think it's type 3 that's the best one for me because it's easy to drift and stuff. Choose all the buttons and everything. There we are. Let's do, whoa, that's a nice drift past him. Oh, he's right behind me. Damn. I need to up my game. Wow. What? Yeah, move. Don't want to be wrecking my car. I, I, I guess you can't wreck your car's cars, you know, it's for kids. I always say that, it's not for kids, it's for adults. People always say like, when they're like oh I'm watching Cars tonight, like Cars 3 or Cars 2, but man, what with your, with your kid? No, I ain't got a kid, you know. Man, that's that kid, that's kid stuff. I'm like, no it's not, it's Cars. Everyone loves Cars. I love Cars, I'm a big fan of Cars. As you already know, I am a massive fan of Cars. This is why I'm playing the game cars, of course. I might get Cars 1 on the Vita, because apparently it actually works on Vita, which is pretty awesome. I want to see how it looks on Vita. Ooh, can this be me? Can this be? Yes. So that was me winning on my first race on the PS Vita side. Gotta say, everything was awesome. Colors are vibrant. The gameplay is fluid. There's no glitch and everything but you, like it says I've got 100 meg internet Wi-Fi connection so you've got to have a good internet speed if you haven't got a good internet speed you're probably going to see some glitching and you know the game kind of flipping out you're probably thinking whoa what's happening here why is this game 
freaking out. But it's not, it's because of the internet speed. But as you can see on the camera itself, it's awesome. So I'm going to do another event. I don't know if it's a race or a challenge or training mode. It's the training mode, of course. I don't really like the training mode because I know what to do anyway. I played Cars 3, I played this game. I've nearly actually completed this on the PlayStation 3 side. But I don't know why it has actually not had my cloud save on here. I don't know why it hasn't. It's crazy why it hasn't. But I don't mind. The game's pretty cool to play again. So here we go. So she wants me to do some stunts. Here we go. Whee! Whoop. Now don't get carried away like what happens when you get carried away with stunts. It's kind of, it kind of reminds me of GTA Online, you know when you do like them stunt faces, oh, it's not going to spin out and it does, it blows up. Okay, so this is the side bash. You don't have to show me man, I already know how to do this. He doesn't do it right. Let's see if I can do more than him. Give it a bash. That's pretty a cool joke. Because it's a bashing. It's a bash, isn't it? Whoop. I'm actually calling him and I can't actually do this myself. I take that comment back. He did more than me. I think it's going to pu probably put some more out. I'm not quite sure. I don't really do it unless they do it to me. That's better. Whoa, he's passing me. Lap me. You ever lap me? Is that against this, or is he just doing it for fun? Let's just use some knife whilst there we are. So this is the drive backwards one. I really like this one, because it's basically made his thing, isn't it? Like driving backwards. It's kind of his style, what he does. See if I can actually do this on the Vita side because I don't know what bullying it is. I think it's the same as the PlayStation 3. Let's have a go. Oh, here we are. Oh, no, it's not. It's different. Okay. How do I do? Yes. Oh, that's it. You tilt that down. And there we are, driving backwards. I like it because, like, the animation of every driver, like, I don't even know this, I mean, I know he's in cars too, but, you know, you never really hear him talk, but they've actually put all the voices in that the cars that you've heard from, you know what I mean, that's pretty cool. So this is the two-wheel challenge. All of these stunts, what you're actually seeing right now, can actually be doing it on Cars 3, Driven to Win. This is why I love Cars 2, because it's exactly the same as Cars 3. Okay, let's do this. Here we are. Brilliant. There we are. Oh, I have to keep on accelerating, of course. That would make sense. Here we go. Let's see if we can do this. Yeah. And that's how you do two-wheel stunt drive. So hopefully this will be a race or it's pipeline sprint so it looks like a race i'm not quite sure Let's see if we can oh i've unlocked a battle race i love the battle racers kind of reminds me of mario kart but in a cars style way So I might do more gameplay on this because probably in the near future after August this is going to be pretty rare because no one will be able to do it after this. So that's why I want to do it and of course yes I'm a cars fan like I told you. I kind of like that that's pretty cool like it's R2 to rev and it's like R2 to tap that's pretty cool. Okay so my weapons are activated there we go. Kind of reminds me of a uh, Twist the metal, but in a nice kitty, kitty. Well, I would say why you say kitty, like basically cartoon friendly. Let's see if we can get this truck. So I've got to pick up the weapons. 
and destroy the opponents. Here we are, remote control cars. Never mess with bombs on remote control cars. I don't know why I've said that, but because I'm actually focused on the game, I'm like focused. There we are. Shoot the truck. I need to shoot the truck. It's got bigger points. Ah, oh, his bodies keep on protecting him. Come on. Let me shoot the guy. There we are. Boom. Hopefully there's another truck. Because the, the, apparently the big trucks do get you more points. I remember that. And I got an achievement. Yeah. Pretty cool. I can hand that in my trophy room on my PlayStation. Kidding, by the way. I haven't got a trophy room. Only on my PlayStation. So, yeah. Hope you're enjoying this gameplay. I'm enjoying it so far. Showing you guys like how it runs on the wheeler on PlayStation now. But let me know in the comments down below what do you think of PlayStation now being excluded from the wheeler? Do you think it's a good side or a bad side? Are you happy it's doing it? Or are you like me where you're thinking, hang on, Sony, what are you doing? Are you destroying the wheeler even more? Because I think after this, I think a lot of people think, oh, hang on. I can't play PlayStation 3 games no more on my Vita. Why would I keep a Vita? For me, I would play basically PlayStation 1 games and PS3 Vita games and a couple of PSP games. And if I do get a PS4 in the near future, I will probably be remote playing on that, which is pretty cool. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy this video. Like and share to all the car fans out there. And if you have any questions about the game, I don't want any questions about how I play. I know sometimes I play crap, but like I says, I'm not. A, I'm only a casual gamer. I'm not a pro gamer. I'm only a casual gamer. But any questions of how it runs, or you know, you want to know how to get this, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.